Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you several popular celebrity photos such as Daniel Kaluuya, Lana Del Rey, Eminem, Michelle Keegan, and many more, proving that the one-eyed occult elite is always there for you. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these images every day. But that's the whole point. These pics are proof that a small occult elite is controlling thousands of industry of slaves across the world while owning the media disseminating this symbolism. And lately, the one-eye sign is more omnipresent than ever. The phenomenon that I've been observing for years is only amplifying to the point that it is now completely unavoidable. The elite is clearly showcasing its tentacular control of all aspects of society, yet most people stay blind to it all. So, without further ado, fasten your pants, and let's get started. The Gucci Froll Winter Fashion Show was about showcasing clothes and, more importantly, about showcasing what the fashion industry is truly about. The runway was set up to look like an operating room. Apparently, it was used to perform horrific transformations on some models. This girl, who looks as if she had a lobotomy, has a third eye on her forehead. The symbol of the third eye historically represented spiritual illumination. However, in today's corrupt elite symbolism, it represents enslavement. This guy has horns on his head and vaguely resembles classic depictions fawns, satyrs, the god Pan and Baphomet. The operations performed on the models are not only physical, they are spiritual. This guy holds his own severed head. Was his actual head replaced with a new head? Is he now a zombie? In mind control symbolism, this perfectly represents a slave's altar persona. Speaking of MK symbolism, this photoshoot by Rankin for Hunger magazine is full of it. While each image on its own can be open to interpretation, the combination of all of them points classic monarch symbolism. Here, the model holds a mask modeled on her face, with inverted lipstick colors, pointing to the concepts of alter persona and duality. This rather scary pic features classic MK symbolism. Fake eyes drawn on the model's shut eyes. She cannot see for herself, and her reality is artifically created. Another powerful symbol. Eyes forced shut by wires. The model's face is painted in black and white, representing duality. A huge part of MK programming is instilling opposite dualistic personas into the slave. This is actress Rosa Salazar in Rogue magazine. The industry loves to portray artists as literal puppets controlled by unseen hands. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. As usual, the one-eye sign appeared everywhere in mass media. This Valentino ad campaign is all about the one-eye sign. But wait, maybe it is all a coincidence. Women sometimes walk around with their purse like this. Maybe it's still a coincidence. Maybe that's how Gigi had it always wears her purse. Definitely not a coincidence. Another luxury brand, another one-eye sign. Garrett Delaving is doing it for Armani Exchange. But wait, maybe it's just an eye patch. Same ad campaign, same 100% intentional one-eye sign, signifying that the brand is owned by the occult elite. This pic was at the top of an article about Daniel Kaluuya, star of the movies Get Out and Black Panther. One-eye hidden, equals, elite owned. This pic was at the top of an article about the late Chadwick Boseman, star of the movie Black Panther. One-eye hidden, equals, elite owned. This is Michelle Keegan in Cosmopolitan magazine with one eye hidden. But bro, wait, this is not what you think, she's just being cute. Possible. Let's look at another pic. Same photoshoot. 
same one eye side. The girl power shirt is rather ironic, since she's flashing her lack of power versus her lead owners. This is singer Tinish, showing that she's a lead owned as well. Do they need to make Olympic athletes do this crap as well? Yes, yes they do. Madison Shipman is a 15-year-old actress, known for her role as Kenzie Bell in the Nickelodeon sitcom Game Shakers. Nearly all of her fans are children. She posted this pic on all of her social media accounts. Honor Franta is a famous YouTuber with over 5 million subscribers. This is a pic of him in TMRW magazine. This magazine cover featuring Lana Del Rey is bizarrely symbolic, especially when one knows some details about her life. Across her chest are the words power play, with play in white, dripping paint, or something else. As seen in several story about Lana Del Rey, a lot of her work is about being a <laughs> kitten at the service of the elite. Does the cover imply that she's being played with by people in power? It would certainly be accurate. Eminem has released an album entitled Revival. Indeed, in order to see a revival of his career, Eminem needs to put his face in magazines doing the one eye sign. His face basically says, I don't feel like doing this, but I have to. He had to do a one eye devil horns combo to promote a previous album. This is teen model, Jordi Juritsma, on the cover of Vanity Teen hiding one eye using a Gucci belt. The fashion world is so creative and inspiring. The cover of photography magazine Click features a young girl with one eye hidden by a butterfly. Gotta educate aspiring photographers to the world of monarch programming. Xenia Sobchak is dubbed Russia's Paris Hilton. She once announced that she was a candidate at the 2018 Russian presidential elections. That doesn't stop her from being featured on the cover of Esquire. Here, she is hiding one eye with the Orban Cross, an ancient Christian symbol of authority, even though she is of Jewish descent. This is actress Zhao Wei on the cover of Marie Claire China. This is Korean heartthrob Exo on the cover of Loptimum Thailand. Did you think that Thailand was safe from this stuff? Nope, all of Asia is heavily exposed elite symbolism. This is the cover of Wonderland magazine. This is Frank Ocean on the cover of ID. Is he an occult elite pawn? The answer is on his hand. Those dozen magazine covers were all released in the same week. No need to dig in obscure places, it's right in our faces, this should be the hook of a song. As if that wasn't enough, the one I sign was in a bunch of other places as well. The MW has recruited Desianer for an ad campaign. This is one of the pictures of the campaign. I guess you need to show your submission to the elite if you want some of that sweet BMW money. This is the poster of Jennifer Lawrence's movie, Red Sparrow. Once again, it clearly focuses on one eye. The movie description says, after enduring a perverse and sadistic training process, she emerges as the most dangerous sparrow the program has ever produced. This is pure MK Ultra stuff. After watching the trailer, it seems that Lawrence plays the role of a classic Beta and Delta MK agent. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.